Orb gang. Whoop whoop. <sighs> Marianne Williamson. She is very unique. Uh, I worry about her a lot, though. I, I worry about... I worry about the progressive message getting lost in, in her framing, which is, you know, of a spiritual nature. Um, I, I really... I, I worry about it getting bogged down in the realm of platitudes, cliches, uh, feel-good stories, and, and just the art of feeling good, which the Democrats have perfected. Uh, like, like standardized centrist campaign rhetoric, you know, is, is based in feeling good. We, we, we want to we want to talk to people and make them feel good. Um, I, I call it the art of feeling good. And I don't want Marion Williamson, who has progressive leanings, progressive tendencies, and supports progressive policies to get bogged down in the realm of platitude, cliche, feel-good stories, and all that stuff. And I worry about that. I, I worry about her not finding a proper balance between her spirituality um, and her spiritual life uh, and the merge with her political life. Uh, it's very interesting. It's very unique. Uh, and, and definitely outside of politics, I support a spiritual life uh, and, and higher sense of being and higher awareness and stuff. That's one reason why I come out in nature all the time. Because that's like my spirituality. As a non-believer, you know, I'm out here and this this is my spiritual life. I highly advocate spiritual life. Um, when you, But when you interject it into something where we need to be fairly analytical on policy substance. I worry about it getting lost. Uh, when I know we need to be talking about Medicare for All and the specifics, you know, green energy initiatives, uh, UBI, uh, hiring the minimum wage, and, and all these like precise issues that require optimal focus, okay? Like, I, I don't want her, her framing and her unique take on the world, life, and politics in general, you know, to, to whitewash that. I don't want the progressive message to get lost in her unique framing. You know, if she can strike a balance with it, that would be the best. That would be great. To have someone who's an outsider, who's a non-politician, who has their own framing, who has their own unique take. You know, that's, that's what makes politics interesting. Uh, that's what makes politics interesting to people who aren't voting, who aren't, you know, when they see people like Marion Williamson or Andrew Yang, uh, you know, people on the outside of the fray. So these people can be very good for politics. Um, Marion just worries me that she's going to get bogged down in some sort of centrist hellscape where it's platitudes, cliches, and just, you know, we're not getting the progressive message out there. She's not talking about the progressive uh, substance embedded within uh, her rhetoric. Like, I, I don't want that to go to the wayside because of this unique angle she has, this unique perspective, um, this, you know, fresh blood in, uh, you know, in an old political, uh, you know, format. It's just, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of caveats. But I support her nonetheless. I know she's progressive. I know she supports progressive policies. Um, uh, but I gotta have faith, and I don't know if I have it. Uh, I'm trying, though. I'm trying to build it for Marianne, because, like I said, I think she's a good faith actor. Uh, I, I believe she's sincere. Uh, and she's unique. And I like that. I like everything about her. Um... I just don't want her to lose the policy substance that we all need to be talking about, which has to dominate her rhetoric. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe. And click the bell on the side.